Hi guys, Red Tango here. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to talk to you about some new stuff from CS Labs, from the guy that uh, makes us the warp cards, the warp 1260, the warp 560, the warp 4060. Great products. I'm just so excited about it. As I'm filming this video, my warp 1260 is on the way from Poland to Denmark. One of the first produced review example of the card. So if you want to watch an in-depth review, honest review where I show everything, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and you will really, really soon see everything about the Warp 1260. Now, before we go down that way, I want to show you something else. Something that, um, something that, I, that I had in my mind. And um, it's actually the video output. So as as you have, I hope you have watched other videos where I talked about the warp cards. As you can see, it has got. I'm gonna say HDMI out once in this video, but that's about it because we're gonna call it digital video out because of copyright issues and all that. So let's just say digital output, okay? Video output. All right. So, as you all know, the Warp Cards has got digital video output, so you can get high resolution and so much, so much other stuff. But the thing is, last year I reviewed the Vampire in an Amiga 600. I had so much fun with the Vampire card. Great product. I have nothing against uh, emulation and stuff like that. I just want to support everything new for the Amiga. That's my purpose. I want to review everything. I want to support everything new, okay? But the thing is, when I plugged that Amiga 600 in, I got this high resolution image and you can see it in my video. It's it's called uh, Vampire Sucking All the Blood from the Amiga 600 or something like that, guys. Just go ahead and watch my other videos. But as you can see in that video, I'm just so frustrated about this product because when I'm in workbench mode, I get this high resolution, crispy picture from the digital cable and it looks so nice. As soon as I want to play an Amiga game, I mean, that's what I do with my Amiga. 98% of my Amiga usage is WSD.gaming. I don't program anything in Workbench. So I use the sysinfo for Workbench, but that's about it, guys. So as soon as I play a game, I get a black screen in that video because I have to use another video out. I have to use the RGB out and have another monitor or have a monitor with uh, HDMI and SCART stick, something like that, guys, because it doesn't include the 15 kilohertz video output. So frustrating. I hate stuff like that. I, I, I just hate it. I want everything plug and play, plug and play. I don't even want to install drivers. I just I just love the idea about, you know, the extra cards we have for the Amiga 1200. Just plug it in, turn the Amiga on, and it works. That's what I love. That's what I like. That's what should be done. So, I was like, how about the warp cards with the, with the digital video out? How does, the, 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 does that work? Is it like the vampire cards? That would just be... Uh, I wouldn't like that. So, what to do? I talked with Caesar and um, we just wrote to each other. All of a sudden, really late, Late, late afternoon, uh, I don't know, 9, 10 o'clock. I got a call from Caesar from CS Labs. What? Hello, Retro Django here. So Caesar says, dude, lovely videos. Thank you for what you're doing. Uh, Caesar is uh, designing these beautiful cards and he has got his um, partner in, in his company called Andre, I think, if I pronounce it correct. He's the lead programmer. He also watched my videos. He also loved everything I am doing. And he said that um, he likes the, the, the level, level of excitement I have about these cards. 
because I'm excited, just like some of your other guys, all of you guys. <laughs> so, um, we had a long talk because I had so many questions um, about this video out. So, I have learned that everything is under development right now. Andre is programming everything he can. And trust me, these guys at CS Labs, it's not about the money, okay? When Caesar talks, he talks like Amiga. It's Amiga is in his soul, in his heart. What you grew up with, he still loves the Amiga. Everything about the Amiga. When he he has so much passion about the Amiga, I I wish he was a bit closer. I would love to have a beer with that guy, those guys. <laughs> but I mean. Caesar's dream was back in the 90s to have a powerful old 60 card in his Amiga back then, but today they're producing these cards, they're just, it's just beautiful. As of right now, the digital video output does not support 15 kilohertz. And I was like, no, but they are building, uh, still under development, but I have these beautiful pictures, guys. They are, they are developing these scan dopplers that work with the ECS on your Omega 500 or the AGA machines on your Omega 1200, both versions. Beautiful stuff. Just plug it in. And uh, as you can see on the pictures, I will show some, I have access to so many pictures guys and videos and stuff like that i just i want to share everything but yeah but from this um scan doctor you will get the ribbon cable into your warp card and from there the 15 kilohertz signal when you want to play your old amiga games will be generated in the scan doctor and it will be passed over to the warp card and from there one cable Digital video out to your brand new high resolution monitor, and you will get both pictures in one cable. I just love this solution. And don't tell anybody, but these scan doctors guys, they're also gonna be uh, working as standalone cards so if you are fed up with not be able to buy one of these scan dollars uh, always sold out and you know over high prices on eBay and stuff like that you will be able to buy these cards just if you have a classic Amiga 1200 plug it on the IC and you will have digital video out I, and I, it's it's just it's perfect also on the Amiga 500 guys in the ECS and Amiga version so I am just so happy about it I wanna have to think about not the I can't say all the details but these cards are gonna be beautiful and um, some really really nice uh, firmware updates, ideas, projects are on the way. They will include more and more stuff. I mean, this, this takes time. It's not a, it's not a company with a hundred men, you know, it's, it's, or, or, or women, <laughs> sorry. But uh, everything is uh, being programmed, tested and, and stuff like that by a few, a handful of people with, with a lot of love and passion for the Amiga. So we have to have respect for that and just wait because the stuff that we're getting is just, it's just made with love and passion and we're gonna, we have to be thankful. <laughs> um, so I just want to show you that and uh, these pictures that, 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 that you just saw. Now, that's about it. Nothing more about that. I just want to answer one thing. Uh, guys, on my videos you write, what's the price of these war cards? They still cost 500 euros plus an 060 CPU. And I hope you will find uh, 
a real 060, which means not in uh, you know cost reduced, not not the um, 68 LC model or EC model that they don't have a FPU MMU. Just just buy the real stuff. If you can get the revision six, get that one. Then you can run 105 megahertz with the extra fan and stuff like that on my previous video. But some of you guys are just laughing about the price. You write to me 500 euros. It will never sell. Never, ever. It's just too expensive and stuff like that. And the CPU is not included. What's going on? I mean, um, I just want to say in this video and answer all the mails and comments and, you know, messenger messages like that. If you go ahead today uh, and want to buy a Blizzard 1260 car, check out eBay, check out the prices. It will cost you maybe around thousand euros and that's for a 25 year old card that is slower than the Warp 1260. I mean, of course, newer technology, uh, better communication with the onboard RAM and the CPU and, and stuff like that. I mean, this is half the price. Also, if you want to, I just saw a power PC card. The seller wanted 2,000 euros for that. Um, of course, it's, it's a bit faster, but I, I don't know. If, if you if you spend that much amount of money, then you will, you will just end up with a really slow PC. That's how I think about the power PC stuff. But an old 060 card will cost you about 1,000 bucks. I bought the, um, for the Amiga 4000, I bought the Cyberstorm uh, MK2. Uh, with an 040 uh, CPU on and it cost me about 900 bucks. So this brand new card for the Amiga 500, for your Amiga 1200, it will, I mean, you can get the uh, uh, CPU for about, I don't know the prices, as of right now, about 110, 120 euros. So let's say 150, who gives, okay? So for 650 bucks, you will get the Warp 1260, including the 060 PSU. You will get better video uh, signal. You will get, you know, build a uh, build a graphics card, better sound card, uh, Wi-Fi internet, 256 RAM. I mean, so much greatness in a box. So when you ask me, is this don't you think it's too much, too expensive, too this and that? I mean, it's all about the supply and demand. It's all about the love we have. It's all about uh, we're not 16 anymore. We're old guys and we're back in the hobby. Every day more and more people enter this hobby. I feel like with all the time and effort CS Labs has put in these cards, I feel like 500 euros for one of these cards are just dirt cheap that's how I feel okay that's how I feel so I just want to make that clear and then share how I feel about this because I really want to you know pay half the price and get something brand new with so much extra stuff um, so for the uh, high-end users or uh, you know some of you guys say, why no 60? You don't need that much power. You don't have no software for that. I just want to say, why not? It's just fun. It's just fun. We don't program. Uh, uh, we have powerful PCs, Max today and all, and all stuff like that. It's just fun. Amiga is just a hobby. It's just fun. Why not to have an 060? I mean, why not? It's just, I love that stuff. I love Amiga hardware. So with the Warp 060, um, you will get more than just acceleration. If you want something cheap, I just saw a live video from the terrible fire guy. I don't remember his name. I wrote to him, uh, how's it going with the uh, accelerated card for the 060 uh, Amiga 1200? And he, and he said, it's done. He has, uh, it, it, everything's done. He's, he's just, few guys are making the last test and uh, then it will be, it, it will come out so we can get 
cheap 060 cards but it's just that's just an 060 and that's about it but the warp cards they have much more than just cpu acceleration so think about that and um, maybe you will um, think differently after watching this video so again guys uh, great updates from cs labs thank you caesar thank you andre i mean thank you guys for doing this I'm just so excited. I want to run down and check out my mailbox. Maybe the warp card is inside it. Have a great day out there. Bye.